Interestingly enough, the only candidates invited on the stage were white. Sure, it's just a coincidence, right? I mean, that stage was whiter than a, than a wine and cheese festival. It looked, like, it looked like a Tupperware party up there with all the whiteness. Now, I mean, I guess we have to conclude that CNN is racist. That's, that's, that those are the rules, right? Those are their rules. So, I, you know, it's not my rules. I'm just saying we, we have no choice. According to CNN's rules, according to liberal rules, CNN is racist. The DNC is racist. Along with being racist, CNN is also unabashedly in the tank for certain candidates against others. And that came out uh, last night, especially when the discussion turned to this dispute between Warren and Sanders about whether Sanders said in a private meeting between himself and Warren that a woman can't win the presidency. He was asked about this. A, a, a comment, by the way, that I don't believe he made, but even if he did, who cares? It's not sexist. Okay, so it doesn't even matter. This whole, this whole, this whole dispute is completely ridiculous. Who cares if he said it? It means nothing. But I don't think he did. Um, he was asked about this. He denied it. He pointed out that he's always said, going back 30 years, he's always said publicly that he thinks a woman could win the presidency. He also pointed out that Hillary Clinton ran for president in 2016, got 3 million more popular votes than Donald Trump, which obviously proves that the American people are willing to vote for a woman. Not only a, a woman, but they're willing to vote for the worst woman in America. So only imagine what they would be willing to do if it was a slightly better woman than that. So his denial is perfectly plausible. Um, and believable. Well, he didn't say the thing about Hillary Clinton being the worst woman in America. That's me. I'm editorializing a little bit. And um, you, you know, if you were watching the debate, you maybe were expecting, if you were watching the debate under the delusion that CNN is a legitimate news operation, then you probably were expecting that after uh, Sanders said, no, I didn't say that, CNN would turn to Warren and ask her directly if he did say that. And then ask her to justify or explain that claim, right? That's what you would expect. If, 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 if CNN is a, is a real news out, outfit, you, that's what you would expect. But um, that's not what happened. Here's what happened instead. Senator Sanders, I do want to be clear here. You're saying that you never told Senator Warren that a woman could not win the election. That is correct. Senator Warren? What did you think when Senator Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? I disagreed. Bernie is my friend, and I am not here to try to fight with Bernie. But look, this question about whether or not a woman can be president has been raised, and it's time for us to attack it head on. Um, and I think the best way to talk about who can win is by looking at people's winning record. So can a woman beat Donald Trump? Look at the men on this stage. Collectively, they have lost 10 elections. The only people on this stage who have won every single election that they've been in are the women, Amy so and true. me. So true. Holy wow. That. So to review what happened here, the moderator asked Bernie about this thing he supposedly said. He denied it strenuously. Then the moderator blatantly dismissed everything he just said, directly contradicted him, openly took Warren's side, and asked her about it on the assumption that it actually happened, thus saving her from having to actually directly address the claim or justify it. So she, the moderator, contradicted Bernie, dismissed it, and then bailed Warren out. Amazing. I mean, it's not amazing. It's, it's, it's not amazing that CNN would act with such partisanship and with such a lack of integrity. What is maybe a little bit surprising is that they'd be so unabashed about it. They'd be so open about it. Thank you for tuning into The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative media outlets in the entire country. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to give it a like and a subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.